Hey guys, it's Greta here, Ladies Relationship Coach. And today's topic for you ladies is why men need to pull away from women, okay? So recently I got a comment on my channel by this lovely girl who says, Greta, you always talk about guys pulling away and her question was like, how many times can I let him pull away, okay? So it was quite funny because it's kind of like when a, if a guy would comment on my channel and you would say, Greta, my girlfriend has a monthly cycle every single month and I'm getting so fed up of it. How many times can I let her have her monthly cycle? Because it's getting really annoying. Okay, so my point is a ma man have a need to pull away, same as girls have a monthly cycle. Okay, there is nothing that you can do about it. You can just live with it and make the most of it. Okay, so why do men need to pull away? Well, we need to pull away first because as I said, it's their need. And we as humans, we have different needs. Not only we are we look different, um, our brains are wired different and a guy's need um, is to pull away. Girls don't have this need, so it's really hard for girls to get it. So this is how it usually happens. When a guy and a girl has really loving time together, when you really bond and you share and you like really enjoy the moment, guys usually straight after, guys usually in the next few days start pulling away from her because we need to get their kind of manlyhood back and when we start like concentrating on their business, concentrating on their problems, doing their own thing, and when we start missing a girl, and when we start missing a girl, we come back to her and we give, give her again this amazing loving time together. So this is how kind of a guy goes, right? So a guy, you have a loving time together, after that time together, he pulls away, he's doing his own thing, he pulls away. Um, after a while, he starts missing you and he comes back again to you to have that beautiful, lovely time together, right? This is how usually a girl goes. She has this loving, quality time together with a guy and she starts holding on to him and never wants to let him go. Okay, so this is why it doesn't work because when a guy, when you have a loving time together and the guy is pulling away, girls usually start chasing after him, running after him, behaving needy, clingy, controlling, insecure, and so on. And that what really puts guys off because a guy's need is to pull away. If you're not gonna let him pull away, he might even eventually start falling out of love with you because it's just gonna get to him too overwhelming. It's gonna get too much. A guy falls in love with a girl through that period when he's pulling away from her. He realizes his feelings from her, for her. Not when you are together and he is, you know, you're having this loving time together, but more when he is pulling away and he's missing you. So you must let him have this time to miss you. If you're going to chase after him, eventually he might even fall out of love with you. Okay? The problem happens that because as girls we don't have this need, we start chasing guys after and guys just like go like, oh my God, I think like you're not the girl that I thought you are. He's not getting his needs met and he like naturally kind of falls out of love with you. This is why it's really important for us girls to let guys pull away. So I even have a story actually, it's a bit of a sad story. So it happened to one of the friends I used to have and basically what happened, she was with a guy and um, we had like a really nice time together. He started, he introduced her after like three years of relationship to um, family and friends, right? And um, after that, like she had a really wonderful time together with his family and friends. And after that, she went back home and he kind of pulled away from her. And when he pulled away from her during those like couple of days, she got so insecure because she didn't realize his need to pull away after that wonderful time together. 
and her insecurities took over she totally she went so so insecure she you know like as a girl she was so insecure that she was like oh my god maybe he doesn't love me anymore he's cheating on me you know like when insecurities take over and she went and she had a one night stand with another guy and she got pregnant and um, she ended up having twins and um, and um, when the guy found out about it you know when her boyfriend like find out about it he was so upset and um, you know like everything fell apart of course you know it's it, it's a sad story and but my point is it was it happened because girl the girl let her insecurities take over simply because she did not understood his pull away need okay and yeah <laughs> this is why it's so important to understand web psychology differences between guys and girls and how differently we are designed so we understand, complement each other and just have happy relationships because as I said, even with this story, it's just like, it's just so sad and it's just a misunderstanding. It's just a total misunderstanding between um, needs, between a man and a woman's needs, you know? So let guys pull away and have no problem about it. Just concentrate on your life, same as he does. You know, like, enjoy your time together. When he's pulling away and doing his own thing, pull away too. Not don't pull away, just kind of enjoy yourself doing your own thing. This is why I always say, girls, like, have hobbies, friends, ambitions, put yourself first. So when he's pulling away, you have what to do. You're not needy on him, on him. You're not clinging on to him. You're doing your own, you're happily doing your own thing and enjoying your own life. And when you guys are back together, you're enjoying times and moments together. And when he's pulling away doing his own thing, you're doing your own thing too. Okay? So ladies, also join my lives on my Instagram, on my YouTube. You can ask me free questions there, which I will gladly answer. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please press like, um, share it with your family and friends. If you would like to get in touch with me and do some one-on-one -on -one coaching, just give me a shout over WhatsApp, Skype or email, whichever we prefer, and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a beautiful day. Kisses from London.